Hey, welcome back to Dutch Chef Builds. My name is Jerome. I've got a little announcement to make. So the announcement isn't that big of a deal, I think, but it will be different for my channel. I've got like a couple of things going with all the bikes. So series on that, series on this, series on that, and series on that, which is confusing for me. I am confused. Dead. I've got so much little odd jobs to do on every bike and big jobs and some uh, that it's fun for me to work on but not so much fun to watch uh, just that little part on the bike uh, and parts come in at different moments in time so while I'm waiting on this I'm working on that and other way around so I've decided to just make episodes as I go along so from now on every episode could be on that one could be on that bike and could be on this or it could be on working on the shed that's just something I'm gonna change from now on um, I hope you like that uh, to watch that would be a bit more in tune with Instagram and with with everyday work I guess uh, maybe in between I'll do different videos on specific parts but in the end the red line would be me just working on the bikes and like time goes on so I hope you're gonna like that and just to get started on that I'm gonna work on this bike today because I'm waiting on parts for this one so there's a few things uh, I want to do on this bike uh, I'm gonna do the tack I'm explain that later I want to do the handlebars I want to change uh, the wheels and starter motor work and car work so that's what we're gonna do with this bike and yeah let's get straight into it uh, this one is the one with the CDI ignition and this one actually runs it's in neutral engine is on run Let's see what happens same problem with the carbs as did the other one with the TI ignition which is not got any spark right now so I'm waiting on parts for that but the carbs did exactly the same on this one which was stop running under 1500 rpms 1500 rpms it will die straight away Did it on that bike it's did it on this bike so the one thing i'm going to do is swap out the carp over here i've got a different body for that one so i'm going to swap the parts out and see if that makes any difference carb wise so that's one thing i'm going to do with this bike and i'll show you that the other thing that i'm going to do is this tack um, this one actually came from that bike uh, because it was stuck <laughs> So the engine is running, hope you can hear me. Stop. 1800 RPMs, I'm gonna rev it. see it dropping down sorry so this gauge is stuck somewhere also the temp doesn't work so there's a problem there as well so as soon as it revved it would like go mm, up and down really slow not really good I swapped it out with the with the tech from this one are you still following this but so this one's still crappy now you can fix this, I've seen that on internet, I want to give that a go, but I was able to get my hands on a second hand tag. So I'm going to swap that out while the carb is still on there. I'm just going to see if this one actually works. And if it does, then I can have a go at repairing this one, but it needs 
quite a bit of rough work to do that so just to be sure I got this one I got this really cheap I think it was 20 euros 15 euros 15 euros so it's not too bad I guess for a, a part that's 40 years old on a classic bike bit of WD-40 it's never a bad thing I think just some oil into the uh, the actual chain cable. It's the tag gun. Might as well put in a new one. As you can see, it's not that hard. That's not a good thing. Looks okay. Oh, shit. Well, this way you're broken now. Okay, so let's change that. Because as you can see, it's getting brittle. So yeah, this this crack was there. I said that, but so I guess with classic bikes, uh, you fix one thing and you need to do something else again. So yeah, this plastic is like 42 years old at least. So it's getting brittle. There was a little crack there anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna see if I'm gonna keep this entire front cockpit as is at least for the time being until I get the motorcycle running properly but maybe do a custom thing um, instead of keeping this but for now I'm just gonna leave it uh, and see if this tag works Uh, the other thing I want to do is swap out this handlebar because this CX500, can you see it, is actually um, a custom one. So this is a 500C model. So it's got these handlebars that are like a little bit upwards. And the other thing that it's got is these tires over here. And you can see that from the uh, smaller openings over here. So it's got like the smaller back wheel with a bit fatter tire and I don't want that. So because it kind of like makes the bike lean back. So I don't want to do that. Actually, I'm going to pick up a different set of wheels for this. I'm going to swap that out. So I'm going to take the wheels off as well. Um, swap those out and do the handlebars and kind of make this bike work a bit more in the way I want to.
shock this. I really don't like that. So these are the two different handlebars. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a big difference. Maybe if you hold them like that. So. They'll be like that. They'll be a really different from the other one. Yeah. It's a good man like that. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, so the, um, the bars have changed. This looks a lot better, I think. So the brakes need to come off. These lines are uh, really corroded and they're not good. I have to take them off. It's not safe to ride these. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take these off. I'm gonna take off the front calipers as well. Uh, I need to check those. Um, yeah, this front end really needs to go because as you can see, maybe or not, it's completely brittle, it's just not safe. So I'm gonna take that off. Also the um, relay over here for the blinkers, it's not working anymore, so that needs to go as well. And next, um, I'll raise the uh, engine with the uh, stand I actually got recently for uh, like 50 bucks, which is really good. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the next thing. So take off the brake part and raise up the engine so we can take the rear wheel off. Well, I'll just raise the uh, the engine with this new jack I've got, it's really cool. But as you can see, there's a lot of grease here. So these, um, what gaskets, I don't know what you call I'll just put that in here. They're probably not good, at least on the left side. And here, oh, this one's okay. Let's try, but. Because if you do one, you always have to buy two, so. These needs to be, uh, this one needs to be replaced, that's for sure. But the front forks need work anyway, because all this paint is coming off. But the main reason I raising it now is to put in a new front wheel i'm going to swap out the um, disc brakes and take out this one so i'll get that done now and then tomorrow i'll pick up the new front wheel and rear wheel rear wheel now it's not because i don't like the front wheel but i don't like the rear so here because I ran into an issue I thought these were like interchangeable but they're not because this this type of wheel has got like a long bolt running straight through and it attaches both uh, this but this thing has smaller bolts so five over here and five over here and it doesn't go through all the way so I need to get um sequence for teach I do believe I always should have stayed
together eleven Get something from nothing Life lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven Get something from nothing Life is that I'm thinking of making it a bit different I've got different shocks coming Which I got for a nice price And I'm just gonna take out the old part And the front part as well And turn it into some sort of a tracker thing I don't know, some sort of camping bike So I wanna make it a single seater and do something with the back here without chopping the frame with like uh, baggage racks or something like that I think that will be I think it'll be something different maybe uh, change the color on some parts I need to paint these because it's really crappy but I want to do something different so and seeing as I still need to give that some co sort of color um, so I'm not gonna stay with the blue which I've got here maybe I'll sell these parts again but I think that's the way I'm going. So I've got these um, protector things here, so it'll make a bit, make it a bit more rough. I got this really cheap, and I got another set coming as well for the other one. Um, yeah, I, I just I don't know. I I like the way they look. So maybe put lights up here, over there, just above the uh, exhaust, and change the front end as well. Maybe to a dual headlight setup thingy. I don't know. Maybe something straight. Um, I think I'm going to use the original um, gauges because I like them. I don't know. Do something with them, I'm not really sure. I may put in a Marty system, which I have lying around for a long time. So yeah, that's by uh, NWT, so the, the Legacy Marty system. I still have that. I think I'm going to put that in this bike. Um, it will save me some fuses it will make the wiring simpler so I can get rid of things like this and I can use this fuse box as well for something else so for now that's what I'm going to do and I had the last thing I did and I'll show you that I swap out the starter motor because that bike had starter issues so you could hear like like it would like stuck, the starter motor wouldn't come out for some reason. So I swapped, I've been swapping stuff out. So if you get confused, I am confused. Perfectly okay. But anyway, starter motor from this one, I swapped it to that one. And now it starts really fine. So starter motor on this one was a problem, which is this starter motor. So I'm gonna take this apart and I've got this revision set for it. Um, this took about a month and a half, two months to get here for some reason. Anyway, i um, going to do that as well. Yeah. So lots to do, small jobs, but in all, nice to watch, I think. So let's get into it. Get it! That's Professor Hawk.